Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Sprocky Wood. So we're going to Upmus Point. We might actually only have like two levels left. Let's go with the completely broken and overpowered Ranger. Uh, same build as always. Uh, I mean, there's the. Oh, wait. Hello. Okay, so what we're going to do? Both dancing flames. I think that's the one we want. So, fire attacks do plus 50% damage, shoots a gigantic swirl of flames. I think that's the right one. We don't want bow. We don't want biting frost. Wisp king. Or, uh, I think it's going to be da dancing flames. Yeah, I think that's the one I bought anyway. So, let's go and let's see if we can explode everyone. I don't even remember what the specific plot of this one was. You guys probably do because you actually watched the episode, but uh, I, I do not watch my own episodes. Holy crap. This is gonna be fun. Everything explodes. Death, destruction. Oh, that that was significantly less death and destruction than I was hoping for. That was a little bit more on the death and destruction side of things. So, realistically, the fire is a little bit on the unreliable side of things, but if we ever run into large groups of enemies, well, oh, this is, good. This is a problem. Uh, let's see, let's go with roll, and then, uh, well, get out of a bad situation, and then move over here. Okay, looks like we're fine. Perfect. Hey, that's a that's a different type of frog. A fair amount of health too. I'm gonna need to up up our bow shot type stuff. Also, it looks like I'm getting some level of nope. Pillar frame flame is tempting, but I like the idea of dancing flames just because it's a little bit more nonsensical. And I like nonsense. I like death. That was a lot of death. Kill a mushroom. Seriously, feels like um. God, I feel horrible for making this this equivalent here, but it feels like uh, Sproggy was just after a while, it's like, well, you know what? Our our whole, like, diplomacy thing has just gone to hell. Let's just, um... Here's a flamethrower. Have fun. Okay, so first and foremost, we got the fish thing. Let's see if I can murder the fish thing before he decides to summon his buddies. Perfect! Keep killing everything. Everything dies. Shot arrow. Beautiful! Let's keep moving. I feel like a horrible... Horrible freaking creature. Oh, we must have pissed off the... We must have pissed off a fish somewhere. Yeah, it's down there. Oh, no. No. Oh, that's kind of scary. So, the infinite portals of death and destruction... Move down one. Portals of death and destruction have uh, finally arrived. I want to get a little bit closer if I can possibly manage it. Oh, wow. It looks like we killed a bunch of people there, somehow. So what I want to do is uh, lightning arrow straight to that. Let's see how many people I can hit. The answer is significantly less than I was thinking. Well, at the very least, uh, let's see if I can kill Sproggy first. Significantly less thre threatening than the... Oh, hello. That's not a Sproggy. What am I talking about? It's a Bizarro Cloghead. And looks like we're actually done with this. Well, luckily we are wearing the Vest of the Master Potter. I have to take a little bit of damage here. But we get the pots. Oh, hey, new type of uh, enemy, apparently. That's a lot of cloggies. Well, luckily those doors eventually disappear, and we can just essentially... Yeah, yeah, somebody's stunned on this stuff. Fortunately, I have to, too. Uh-oh. Okay, so we need to get over here. And... Uh, fire whip bow. Curling flame. Let's try it. The random seems to work a little bit. Fortunately... I had to uh, summon a slime. I do kind of prefer the flame with bow earlier, but this does give us slightly more reliability. What the heck just happened there? I, oh, I think they teleported. Works for me. Kill the sprogs. Perfect. Keep the shot arrow. Yeah. Seriously, death, destruction, and overall badassery right now. The. Uh, you get to farm a lot of experience if you're not being careful with this. And, uh, luckily with the Vest and the Master Potter, we can keep topped off. Looks like there's nobody else to bother us here either, so keep going up. I don't know how many floors are on this level. Kind of actually wish it told me, but uh, it said it doesn't matter that much. I have to get Zappoed, though. Can I actually get these guys? Nope, these guys do not set off the... Uh, oh, this is going to suck. More. Wait, no, never mind. Hello! Surprise! Uh, well, I mean, got a dagger for you. Got a dagger for you, too. Got a dagger for you! It was attached to an arrow. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, we get a frostbar bow. That's not good. 
Let's keep with this. So if I can get another fire whip bow, that'd be nice. That said, if I can't, not the end of the world. Oh, wait. I was not supposed to do what I just did. Uh-oh. Supposed to kill the fishies. Unfortunately, the fishies are nigh on infinite. This is a problem. This is not big of a... This is not that big of a problem. Let's see if lightning... Nope. Lightning does not seem to affect fishies. See if that affects fishies. Wait. The fishy may not summon... Another one. Perfect. It's dead. And then we get... Then we... Then we go with the stabbings. Okay. And it looks like my bow is long enough range to kill the toad. If I seem a little bit loopy right now, it's because I'm recording this at freaking... Uh... No Man's O'Clock. And I actually like recording at No Man's O'Clock. Because after a certain point, I just kind of lose what... Uh-oh. Well. Hello, Sproggies. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to deal with that, close the door. Don't really feel like dealing with large groups of enemies. We're getting pretty close to full health anyway. What's this do? Divine Convalescence. We are full health again. And let's go up. Study of Sapius the Wisest. Huh. I wonder uh, what he has learned in the meantime. I'm going to have to worry about everything exploding, though. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, at the very least, I can probably ro roll away from him. That's a good thing. And we have uh, full charges on a health potion. We got that going for us, too. Next, I'm going to go with... Uh, mm, piercing shot? Lightning arrow? I don't, I'm going to go with a roll. Because that might get us out of a bad situation. Or into one. I'm going to leave that pot, too. Realistically, probably not going to make much of a difference. You! Ancient, vile enemy! Your theft and murder will plague us no more! Do you see how giant my brain has grown? Do you have any idea how cl uh, any idea clue? What? <laughs> idea clue. How smart I am now. Jesus, I'm pretty dumb, dude. Soon you will die. How about explosions? How about lightning arrow to the straight to the Nirgen? Really not actually sure how you're supposed to handle this boss. Let's go all the way over here. And I don't have any more stamina because I wasted it all. Oh, it looks like he does. Frosty stuff. This is all quite concerning. I'm just gonna hang out over here for a while. Luckily, I have health potions. That's always nice. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to... Uh... There we go. That gets me some amount of stamina back. And I don't have... Let's go this direction. I have no idea which one of these is the real one. Wait, I can stab this one. Perfect! Ow. There's quite a lot of pain that happens here. Let's drink a potion. Oh, wow. That puts me up to full. Well, that's convenient. Let's just keep arrowing these guys to death. And, uh, until we actually find out which one's the real one. I'm gonna hang out over here. This is like just constant exploding sapiuses. And he's dead. Wealth of Ages. Scroll of Teleportation. Uh, what? I thought my potion had more uses than that. I don't think I drank them both. Well, keep the Vest of the Potter. I'm up here. We've got one more pot. No reason to use the he uh, the uh, healing thing. And let's open the chest and leave. Not entirely sure why the chest always has a door in it, but we get Julia, the frog. We also get Deet, the evil clockhead. And a fair amount of cash. We are clearing this dungeon like nothing. Here's the question. Do we decide to go through Aku Ice Maze? Is that really the end of it? No, that might actually bring us to another area. I don't know. It's an interesting question. So, clockhead. The deed is done. It is a solemn day. But you did what you had to do. Open the chest, Cloghead. Claim your spoils. I must mourn the mushroom civilization. Quest complete. Wipe out the mushroom civilization. I thought it was supposed to be encouraging civilization here. Anyway, I could get Mail of Greater Vitality or Vest of the Mongoose God, both of which completely worthless for me. Let's just go with that. Why not? Happy meat fish. Bzzz. We already know about that. What's Altair say? Early to bed, early to stab. Okay, so we can go shopping. There's nothing here that we can afford. And by afford, I mean we've already bought everything. Wizard. Nope. Vampire. Eh. Archer. Okay. So, it was, in fact, the... It, it's not the Fire Whip Bow. We already knew that. It's Flaming Bow. Pillar of Flame. Curling Whip of Flame. I need to test these things. You know, to actually remember what they do. Kind of wish I could sort my equipment or see like a in progress thing. Okay, so let's just buy him dancing flames and biting frost. Should work, even though he's probably never going to use them. Anyway, let's go back to the map. 
and talk to Sproggy. Oh, Cloghead, come quick. The mushroom civilization lay in ruin, but there are survivors. A revered elder known as Old Cap has rallied their ranks. They've fled over the floating cliffs and into the Aku Ice Maze to the chamber of the slum slumbing demon. I think it's supposed to be slumbering. Demon Surma. Isn't Surma a demon in a different thing? I might actually be thinking of an anime. Ugh. Anyway, there, in the gloom of the frozen caves, they plot against the Clogheads. Now, I suppose we could just let them freeze to death, but just to be safe, you better deal with them. Follow them into the glacier, into the ice maze itself. Destroy Old Cap and stamp out the last of the mushrooms. Oh, it pains me to advise you so, but we must remain vigilant. The Clogheads must prevail. They must. Go carry out your grim task. I know you've had a lot of grim tasks lately, but this one should be the last one. Good luck! Press receive. Follow Old Cap to the Aku Ice Maze and destroy the last of the mushrooms. I feel like a terrible person. So, I could do that, but at the same time, I would actually like to space content out a little bit, and we have a lot of catching up to do. So let's go to go go Turku, and let's go with the wizard. Choose equipment. Uh, let's see, do I do Fire Whip Staff. Vanishing ropes. Yep, looks like that's about all we can get. Cone of flames and begin adventure. So with luck, we can get the the robes of the Master Potter because that's probably going to be better than what we got. And realistically, everything's going to explode anyway. Magic missile. Because honestly, between the ice effects, I like the healing effect of the ghost staff or whatever. But at the same time, I do kind of like just death and destruction. So let's open up this chest and keep going. Fire flare robes. Whenever attack. Chance to do... I prefer teleportation. So, let's just keep going. What do we got over here? Nothing! Nothing whatsoever. Does not surprise me. Nope. Let's just blow up the explodey slimes. Take a little bit of damage. Hope that we can get some level of healing later. Uh, summon Yeti. Oh wait, that's probably not very useful. I should probably do it at least once. So, I'm just going to use the health potion, seeing as we're here, and it's barely worth any money in comparison to the potential amount of health that we can get back from it. Well, the slime is going to have to go an alternate route. That does not surprise me in the slightest. Let's back away. Yep, I'm a mass murdering uh, evil person. And because we've got maybe a higher level magic missile? No, I was just shooting extra mass magic missiles for some mysterious reason. All works for me. We rebuffed, be gone from this place, and I get teleported over there anyway. No alternates. Okay, well, uh, there's nothing else on this floor. Let's go down. Go, Turku. Bust up all the pots, blow up all the slimes, everything died. Oh, jeez, I don't want to be remotely close to those when they go. That could hurt. What I want to do is blow up the goats. Seriously, this character is insanely powerful. Like, I say the archer is, like, the crazy powerful one, but the fact that this guy can shoot extra missiles? Ugh. It also has the fireball. I've never actually used it, though. I think. I'll have to see. Uh, seems like a silly time to use it. Whatever. Oh, that's how fireball works. Uh, well, everything explodes. Everything always seems to explode. I think, I think we're just going to write the wizard off as, uh, you know, Captain Fancy Pants. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm wearing pants. I've got fleshy little legs under there, so it actually looks like I'm just going around in the buff. Which may explain why everybody wants to kill me so bad. Let's just whack this guy with a staff. Probably should have just done magic missile, come to think of it. For some reason, it always shoots extra stuff. Gonna just keep with this. Extra health would be nice, but we keep getting healing items anyway, so there's no real reason to use anything else. Okay, and bushes, and leaves, and all of these things that we don't really need. Let's keep going down. Magic missile, everything to death. Not really sure how this all works, but I'm glad it does. Also, I think uh, this time we can sell the health potion. Boink. Magic missile. Yeah, I think magic missile just randomly shoots extra missiles, and I'm totally okay with this. I don't think you can get up to three, though. Tori's lucky coin. You may reroll items one time each. Good to know. I'm just gonna keep it that, though. But it looks like the random... Uh, pickups that you can get, uh, or the, like, random trinkety type things, are actually quite unique. I don't have teleportation. That's gonna hurt a little bit. Not much, though, which is good. Let's see. Yep, everything dies. Uh, unfortunately, I'm blocked off of that section of the dungeon by damage. Joy of Loot! 
Stormguard vest, apparently. Whoops. Oh well, now we're hot pink. There are worse things in life than being hot pink. In fact, it's actually one of my favorite col colors, weirdly enough. Let's just wallop him, get over here, kill the goat, and we are hideously powerful. Like, it, seriously, this is... We are... We are uh, terror, upon, uh, terror upon the worlds. Or the realm, I guess. Hey, we've already gotten to the Gotris's lair. I forgot how fast you can go when you are a mass murdering machine of uh, magic and death. I am still a little bit disappointed I don't have a beard, though. Oh, it's like two acid damage. No big, big deal. Just explode everyone, everything. There is nothing over there. Why did I even bother? Hey, I found the Gotris. She took three hits to kill. This is... Ow. Your death was defined. Uh, predet predestined. Predetermined. I don't know. Whatever. And we can essentially just kind of mass murder our way through this entire level because we've already beaten the boss. Chances of failure? Slim to none. It doesn't look like... Uh, where does this go? The answer is nowhere. I kind of wish I could hold it down so I could actually move faster. Okay, well. Let us uh, teleport over... Can I... Oh, I see. Onwards! Doink! Saves me some time. What's this? Wisdom of the Ages. Oh, that was worthless. To the door! Yay! We get cash. Continuing on. At this point, essentially what I'm doing is just trying to clear as much as possible with the wizard. Because if I can clear as much as possible with the wizard, we can potentially get him some really, really powerful equipment. So, next up, we're going into Big Tree. Fortunately, I'm going to need a uh, magic missile. Please give me magic missile. There we go. Magic missile. Everything explodes now. I am party. Wow, that, that worked out fabulously. Uh, scroll of fireball. Nope. I can already cast fireball. What's the point of it all? So, I do have a uh, freezing staff. Mm, no. I prefer the ability to make everything explode. If it was the ice circle, I would say yes, but it's not. It's the other kind of thing. Okay. Uh, summon Yeti. I should probably just summon Yeti. Oh, sweet. They look cool. Okay, scroll of pottery. Let's just use it. Oh. Apparently I can turn my own yetis into pottery. I feel kind of terrible. And looks like we've uh, summoned a bunch of something. That's a little bit concerning. Uh, they might be wisps. I'm actually kind of okay with that. Oh, shoot. I am out of stamina somehow. This is a concern. Never mind. No big deal. Everything just explodes. So it looks like a... Oh, things are exploding over here. Not entirely sure how or why, but I'm okay with it. First and foremost, let's just... Magic... Magic... Miss... Mm, didn't work that well. Okay, there we go. Magic missile. Let's get out of here. Whee! And stabbings. I don't know exactly why stabbing an enemy with a chest even seems remotely reasonable. No freezing staff. But it is. Wow. I just pressed two out of reflex. Now I want to back off a little bit. And... I don't, even, I don't even know what... I don't even understand this game. I'm just kind of doing things and things are happening and everybody's exploding and, you know, it turns out that I'm actually evil because some freaking fairy sent me on a quest and, you know, he just decided that it was my job to just destroy the realm and... I mean, I, I'm not even paid for this. I guess I really am. Somebody give me a town because that seems like a reasonable thing to do. And I'm about to explode, so I'm going to teleport over here instead of getting walled, even though I really don't need to worry about it. I'm rambling really quickly. Let's keep opening up chests. Fireflare robes. Eh. I'm going to keep teleportation. It doesn't seem like I've gotten a whole lot of uh, teleportation charges, but you know what? It doesn't matter that much. I am noticing the fact that uh, since I am tired, I am chatting at a much... Uh, increased pace. I'm okay with this. So we've got one pot and the door down. Works for me. Now we're in the big tree. Wait, that was that was just level one. We need to pick up the pace. Everything explodes. Hopefully we get fireball soon. Hello. This is this is party. Death to everyone. Jeez, that's a lot of fire. Okay, let's go down this direction before bad things happen to me. I still, ow, I still got hit by both of them. Oh, well, we get all of our endurance back anyway because I am a mass murdering freak of nature. Yep. I wonder if the, okay, fire cannot go through walls. This makes a lot of sense to me. Let's just keep going around. That's a lot of enemies. Kind of wish I had fireball. Well, doesn't matter that much. Everything dies. Everything. All I have to do, <laughs> at this point, the two button on my keyboard is the button for instant death. Seems to work pretty much without fail. 
Not all the time, but pretty much without fail. So, rubs of greater vitality. Worthless to me. Everything is worthless to me. I am... I'll, I'm trying to think of, like, a fire wizard. Scorchimus, I don't know. I am Susan, master of the universe. And explosions. Mostly explosions, really. I mean, the universe can come later. Considering the universe was actually started as an explosion, I'm going to claim moral superiority here. What I'm going to do is that that's not going to help me. What I want to do... Aha! I fell into my trap. You exploded. Suck it. Okay. Seriously, though. Uh, at this point, I'm just kind of rambling in weird and interesting ways that at least appeal to me, because I have lost all ability to be totally coherent, and apparently for some people, that is the equivalent of entertainment. I don't know. Not to badmouth some other YouTubers, but there are quite a number of them that tend to just spit out complete trash, and apparently they uh, do better than I do. Which, I mean, shouldn't be... Uh, Nasty about things. Honestly, great for their success, but why can't I be that big? Okay, that's enough entitlement for the night. Let's go back to just murdering things. I like murdering things. Makes me feel successful. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Need more murder. More murder. Damn. Now if I move up one space, I will be co totally fine here. Yeah, that was a lot of fire. Okay, upgrade magic missile. Explode everything. Feels superior in the fact that everybody's pottery, except for the uh, slime that's about to explode, interestingly enough. Yeah, works for me. Do kind of wish I had the vest of the mas Master Potter, but then again, it's not a very necessary thing right now, considering we barely take damage, by and large, the fact that everything explodes. I'm gonna just go this direction. Well, I guess there's that. Didn't exactly work out the way I was expecting, but at the same time, dial two for death. Oh. I see, it corresponds with the number keys. That totally makes sense, now that I've actually been paying attention. Yeah, that was a, that was a fire mine of sorts. Okay, onwards to death, destruction, and the universe. The one problem is I can't tell. wait, yes I can. Teleport costs almost nothing. Let's teleport here, and then fireball! Note to self, use that more often. In fact, use teleport like all the time. I'm gonna go over here. Nobody should be able to explode me in that direction. Okay, so yeah, definitely use teleport. It it costs one stamina. For whatever reason, I was uh, mixing up teleport. Yep. I was mixing up teleport and summon Yeti in my mind, and that ended up not being the case. Okay, yeah, it's definitely press two for death. Hey, wonder of pottery. I'm just gonna sell those. I'm full health anyway. Oh, nobody to die here. Nope, I summoned a Yeti. Well, this was a mistake. I guess everybody died anyway. Let's go over here. Yay! Oh. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to teleport over here. And that's all of my stamina. Hi, Yeti. Bye, Yeti. You were a nice person. As well get my health back up to full, even though it's barely at all reduced. And Chambers of the Council. So we're gonna have to fight Big Ol' Mushroom Man. What we wanna do, though, is get our stamina off. Otherwise, we're gonna have some problems. Let's just back away and casual murder. Yes. 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 I think Megatron messing with my head. And if you don't know what I'm refer referencing, uh, Megatron from uh, Beast Wars would always go, yes. For no really adequate explained reason. But it worked. And, uh, well, it worked at infecting my brain. It, it did also actually make him one of the more unique and interesting villains that I've ever run into in a children's cartoon show. Hey, I teleported away for once. That is an incredibly rare thing to happen. Okay. Oh, we found the dude. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Well, let's just murder him. And then move over, and then... Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to murder that one and my dude. Well, I guess just fireballs are the only way to express emotions at this point. Hey, I got to teleport again. You kind of wish I had a stamina potion right now. Oh, well. Death, destruction, and fire. All things a growing boy needs. Let's teleport over here. And fireball. Yep, they're all dead. Can I level up? Nope. Can't press buttons for leveling up. That's a shame. Okay, well, what are the little leaf piles? There are, in fact, enemies there. Now let's summon a pair of buddy, buddy yetis, open up the chest, and then leave. Goodbye, buddy yetis. You will never leave. Pink nipples. They will remain forever secret. Yeah, I've lost it a little bit. 
Okay, so we've got the Aku Ice Maze, and then everything else. Mm. So, either way, I think this is a great stopping point. I'm getting tired, I'm getting hungry, and I'm getting loopy as hell. So I will see you guys on the next episode of Sproggywood, where we will go off and potentially finish the game. Either that or find out that uh, there's actually more to this game, which I'm kind of hoping there is. It does feel a little bit on the short side of things. But then again, with redoing all the dungeons over and over and over again, actually does end up kind of equally out. And I got my money's worth out of it. So, see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.